Hello students, we have a question here, this is mathematics. The question says we have to prove the identity sin theta cot theta is identical to cos theta. This is trigonometry. Whenever you are asked to prove a given identity, you have to look at the two sides that you've been given. In this case, we have the left-hand side and the right-hand side. You have to take the side that is looking to be complicated. So look at the two sides. Which one do you think looks to be complicated? You can agree with me that it is the left hand side. Looks complicated to compare to this, is it? So that complicated part is the one that you are going to take. So in starting to prove a given identity, you should say, consider, we have now started. So you're going to say consider, you should write the word consider. Consider what? this side which is the left hand side okay so that your teacher is able to know the side you are proving so in this case i'm now able to show that i'm proving the left hand side so i'll be able to copy this left hand side copy it down here we want to show that this is identical to what we have here so I'm going to say sine theta cot theta, just this part. Now, when proving these identities, there are certain ratios, identities that you need to know. Remember, under trigonometry, we have these three basic ratios. We have what we call sine, we also have uh, cos, we have tan. So this is sine, cosine, and tangent. These are the three basic um, ratios that we have under trigonometry. Now, when proving these identities, there must be some identities simple identities that we need to remember so that we substitute whatever we're going to substitute we solve we reduce until we find this okay from the three ratios sine cosine tangent we can have some identities here one of the identities that you need to remember always is sine squared theta okay two of these sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is always identical or is always equal to what uh, one that is an identity we'll be able to show you in other videos where this is coming from so sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is always identical to 1. I'm not saying sine theta plus cos theta. I'm saying sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1. The other identity that you need to know here is from this tan, we can say tan theta, which is an angle, is equal to or is identical to sine theta over cos theta so where there is tan theta you can substitute with this sine theta divided by cos theta which is true okay you should also know that these three ratios have got inverse okay the inverse for sine is called cosecant or cosec so the inverse for sine 
It says sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. Let me put those angles. So the inverse for sine theta is cosec theta. The inverse for cos theta is sec or secant, sec theta. The inverse for tan theta is cot theta or cotangent. So this is second, I mean this is cosecant, second, then we also have cotangent. So these three are inverse of this. You can see cot somewhere. I see that. Now, if we are saying these are inverse of these, therefore, we can come to this, tan theta. So tan theta, the inverse is cot theta. We can simply say cot theta, therefore, is identical or equals inverse of this. It means cos on top, sine down. I see that. Because it is inverse. So cot theta is equal to cot theta is equal to cos theta divided by or over sine theta. Ladies and gentlemen, these are not the only uh, identity they are not. So when you are given any identity to prove, you just look at what you've been given and come up on the other side, come up with some of the identities that are similar to what you've been given. Just from this identity here, we can generate a lot of identities here. We can simply say sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus C. When this cross the, the identity sign there, it will be 1 minus cos squared theta. That is another one. We can also come to this. Cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared. There are a lot of identities that we can make. So it is these identities that will help us understand what they want. I see that. So from this sine squared theta, I mean sine theta, cot theta, I cannot substitute an identity here on sine theta but here I can substitute because I have seen something similar here I can say sine theta where there is cot theta remember I want to remain with this so I have to look for identities that will have these uh, that will have cos theta so where there is cot theta I'll simply say cot theta is e, cos theta divided by sine theta. So I'll say cos theta divided by sine theta. I see that. In between this and this, there is multiplication. So now I can multiply, reduce. This is sine theta, sine theta. Remember there is over one here, it means a fraction. So sine theta, sine theta, I can do what? I can cancel like this. What am I going to remain with? Cos theta. Look at what I've remained with. Look at what I have here. So I'll simply say cos theta is now identical to the other side, which is the right hand side. The identity has been proved. Just like this. Bye-bye.